candling our little duck egg. You see the baby? It's moving around inside. That is our baby duck. It's pretty active. That's all for now. He needs his sunglasses now. Baby, you are cute. Hi, Levi. Hi, Levi. Hi, Levi. Hey, hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. Eating stuff off the carpet. Goofball. Look at those feet. I see those feet. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, Levi. Moose is trying to hatch. It's 12.30 in the morning. He has, or she has, whatever it is, completely turned around from having its head at the opening to now its rump is at the opening. And every time it pushes, it cracks that shell big time. And I think it's going to come out breech, believe it or not. So... I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. But I do know this. My phone takes 10 times better videos than my actual camera. How crazy is that? The noise you hear is this. It's an automatic water pump that pumps the humidity into the incubator, which tells me it's at 99.7 degrees and the humidity is 74%, which is what it's supposed to be for ducks and goslings. For chickens, it's only supposed to be 50%. Can you hear it? It's hard to hear with the machine running for the water.
Almost out. By the way, this is supposed to be an Emden goose, which is supposed to be all white. Uh, yeah, those feathers are looking pretty dark. Same thing happened with my duck. It was supposed to be a Pekin duck, the kind you can order at a Chinese restaurant, which is all white, but yet it's got black and gray on the yellow. So I'm curious to see what these guys are going to look like when they get their real feathers in. Look at that. Holy moly, it's about to hatch. It made that tiny hole at 8 o'clock this morning. It did nothing, nothing, all day. And here it is, 12.30 at night. It's finally hatching after about 16 hours. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I missed the duck one because I was sleeping. <clears throat> Now I can, once it hatches, I'll put it in with Levi the duck in the brooder, which has food and water and warmth. Look at that. Holy moly. I've never seen this before. This is really cool. It's going to be a long video. Almost out now. Look at that. Sweet baby. The other one so hasn't even pipped yet. Hasn't even made a hole yet. Listen to those noises. Sorry, it's so shaky. I'm holding up my my phone. I wonder if it's a boy or a girl. That shiny jelly stuff on the top is actually the placenta. That's what goes to the gosling's umbilical cord. <laughs> Look at that. Holy moly. Oh, dear's baby. Dear's baby. Oh, it's got like yellow on its tummy. This is supposed to be an all yellow gosling, by the way. Yeah, it's not. Oh, he's so cute. Little feathers are all wet. Oh. I'm gonna leave him in here overnight. It's warm and it will dry him, and he doesn't need to eat. He's got the yolk in his tummy. Little foot. Look at the foot. I like my smiley faces on the eggs. Yeah, I'm weird like that.
almost all the way out. It is definitely not, not the duck that I was told it was going to be. It's black and gold. Look at that little foot. And he's out. He, she's out. Wow, eight minutes. Eight minutes it took. <laughs> That's awesome. That's just totally awesome. Look at those big feet. Holy moly. It's going to be like a 15 pound goose. 15 to 20 pound goose. Now it needs its little buddy to open up. Yeah, shake it up a bit. He's all the way out. Completely out of the shell. Completely out. Wow. Amazing. Truly amazing. Going in nine minutes now. So I waited all day and it did nothing. Then it turns around and comes out in 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. The umbilical cord is still attached. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm waiting for that to kind of pull off on its own. I don't want to touch it. Looks like it had a little poop a doop in the shell, that white. This is the first time I've ever, ever incubated eggs. And I was told I'd be lucky if less than half hatch. I had one duck egg and it hatched. I have two goose eggs. First goose is hatched. In this incubator, I candled them tonight. They're due to hatch in about two days. This one I think is dead. I candled it and there's like no clear veins. There's like clear over here and clear over here and just kind of a red blob. Um, I haven't seen it shake. I haven't seen it move. But the other two in the back, I have. So we'll see. Look at this spaz. He is out. Well, the other one has not broken open its shell, so it is safe to open the top as long as I put the baby immediately in the brooder. So, see umbilical cord? Umbilical cord is detached, I believe. I don't know, I think I just saw it kick it. That is not, that is not a white gosling in any shape our form. If I put him in the brooder under the heater, he'll dry and get warm and he'll have a buddy with the duck. Mr. Levi. Put the humidity in there. Look at how humid it is in there. I wonder what it says. 84%. Why did that go up? Well, if I can clarify that, that umbilical cord is... Oh, his eyes are open. Alright, I'm going to put him in the brooder. Because he's big for this thing. Uh, I'm going to take the top off because there's no external pip in this other egg, which is the dangerous part to open it. Hi. Hi. I hear you. Oh my goodness. Yes, you're a busy baby. Oh, you're a busy baby. Busy. And here it is. 
Here's the baby. I'm going to put it in the brooder. So, goodbye. Put it down and turn this camera off. Yep. Goodbye, Moose.